welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Monday so it is meal prep day. I have three fantastic recipes for you. A veggie filled protein packed breakfast, a delicious, and I mean delicious, low calorie, low point lunch, and dessert, dessert cannot be beat. We're making a cheesecake. WW friendly and wait until you see how low in calories this decadent dessert is. So if you're excited for this week's meal prep, please give it a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know what types of videos to keep putting out for you guys. Also, if you're new or you're watching and you're not yet subscribed, I'd absolutely love to have you. Hit the little subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a video. We do meal preps every single Monday. Down in the description box, you'll find my newly released meal planner. We are in the final batch. So if you're interested, pick it up before it's gone. There will not be any more orders of the meal prep until 2022. So definitely pick one up while they're still in stock. You'll also find my nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macro and calorie calculation. You have to know where you should fall calorie and macro wise to be successful. So definitely take advantage of that service, whether you're on WW, counting calories, whatever eating plan you're following, it's essential to know your macros and your calories. You'll also find one-on-one -on -one coaching in both 30 and 60 minute sessions. If you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one individualized support, you'll find that on my nutrition coaching website as well. Links, discount codes to everything I shared with you today and all of my other favorite things are also in that box along with my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love, love, love to have you. It's a very loving and supportive community. Lots of great ideas, recipes. So head on over and join us in the Facebook group. So we have recipes to make, three incredible recipes. So let's jump in. For breakfast this week, I'm making a caramelized onion, red pepper, and zucchini frittata. I've really been trying to get in a little bit of extra vegetables with breakfast. So this is a meatless breakfast, packed full of veggies, but you're still getting a lot of protein from the eggs and the cheese. So first you're going to need six eggs, Parmesan cheese. I love this shredded Parmesan cheese from Costco, this Galbani brand, delicious. A bell pepper, medium-sized onion, zucchini, salt and pepper, and some oil of your choice. I just have the Chosen Foods avocado oil. The first thing we're going to do is cut about one and a half cups of zucchini into match sticks. We're gonna dice up the bell pepper and the onion. Whispering soft to learn signs, wrapping you around my finger. Gently touch, full of spell, blinding you into another. Sneaking around, hunt and pray to find me another lover. Behind closed doors, an empty space, we're in a secret. In a large skillet, I'm heating up two teaspoons of avocado oil. When it comes to temperature nice and hot, I'm going to add in my sliced up onion, and we're going to let these cook until caramel. Normalized. Once your onions start to brown and caramelize, we're going to add in the bell pepper. Cook that for another five minutes or so with the onion. After cooking the bell pepper with the onion for about five minutes, we're going to add in the mashed stick zucchini, season with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we're just going to allow that to cook until the zucchini is softened. While the veggies finish cooking, I'm going to crack six eggs into a bowl, add a quarter cup of Parmesan, some salt and pepper, and whisk together. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. So I transferred the vegetables to a nine by six or so baking dish sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. Here is the egg mixture and I'm just going to pour this right over the top of the hot vegetables. So it will start to set. You can also do this in your skillet, but my skillet is an oven safe and we are actually going to put this into a 400 degree oven until the eggs are completely cooked and set. 
Look how amazing this looks. So the frittata is out of the oven. You can see it's nice and thick. The egg is cooked all the way through. So for breakfast, I'm going to cut this into four servings. So this is quite a big serving for breakfast. Again, it's packed with protein. You've got a lot of vegetables, which is what I'm shooting for is to really kind of up my veggie game during all of my meals throughout the day. So cut into four servings. This is two points on both blue and purple and five points on green because you do have to count for all of the eggs, 164 calories. Not bad at all. So I'm going to pair this most likely with some fruit. I may have an English muffin or toast. We'll just see how hungry I am. But if you want a delicious vegetable filled breakfast, definitely check out this frittata. For my lunches this week, I'm making a teriyaki meatballs. These Meatballs actually have their own homemade teriyaki sauce. You can substitute another option if you didn't want to make it from scratch, but I'm going to make the homemade one because it sounds delicious. So what you're going to need for the meatballs is some soy sauce, raw honey, green onions, one egg, one pound of 99% lean ground turkey, and one pound of 96% lean ground beef, panko breadcrumbs, brown sugar. This is the Sucrin Gold. Now you can purchase Sucrin Gold off of Nettrition. Same website. You can get the pasta, the fiber gourmet. So it's great to order both of those at the same time, reach the minimum order and get free shipping. So I'll link that down below for you. You'll also need cornstarch, fresh garlic, fresh ginger, and some sesame seeds. So let's make some teriyaki meatballs. Into a large bowl, I put my one pound of 99% ground turkey and one pound of 96% ground beef. I'll go ahead and mix this together. We're also going to put together the rest of the ingredients for the meatballs. So you're going to need just a small bowl. To that, we're going to add one beaten egg, one tablespoon of soy sauce, two cloves of minced garlic. I'm just going to squeeze in about a tablespoon of this garlic paste and then two teaspoons of ginger. I'm going to give that just a quick mix to combine the wet ingredients and then we're going to add in four thinly sliced green onions. We're going to add the egg mixture to the meat as well as three quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs. Now it's time to get down and dirty. We're gonna go in with our hands and we're going to mix the meatball mixture together just until combined. Do not over mix. Pull out a cookie sheet, go ahead and spray it with some nonstick cooking spray and preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Here is the meat mixture and you're going to need a cookie scoop about the size of a golf ball and we're just going to scoop the meatballs onto the prepared baking dish. It doesn't matter how many meatballs you get, we'll just divide the number we scoop by the number of servings. Around my finger, gently touch, full of spell, blinding you into another. We're putting the meatballs into the oven for 15 to 18 minutes, just until they are barely cooked through, and then we'll get started on the teriyaki sauce. Into a medium-sized skillet, we're going to add one and a quarter cup of water, two-thirds of a cup of soy sauce, one half of a cup of the brown sugar, three tablespoons honey one teaspoon of ginger, and one teaspoon of garlic. Go ahead and stir that together until combined, and then we're going to put this on the stovetop over medium heat. And we're gonna go ahead and let this come to a boil. We wanna make sure that sugar is completely dissolved as well as the minced ginger and garlic. Once it comes to a boil, I added one quarter cup of cornstarch and some water to make a slurry. And we're going to add that directly to the sauce and allow it to cook until completely thickened. And then we're going to remove it from the heat. Look at how beautiful and nice and thick this sauce is. We're going to remove our meatballs from the oven and those will get added directly to the sauce. You will always be the heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind. These look incredible. So I'm just going to stir them up. Just make sure all of your meatballs get coated really well in that homemade teriyaki. 
I'm going to let them simmer just until the meatballs are cooked all the way through. I would say that they were 85 to 90% cooked when I pulled them out of the oven, but I just wanna make sure the meat gets cooked all the way through. So here are the meatballs. They look so good. What I'm going to do is just store them in a glass container. I'm going to count them as I add them to the container, just so I know how many I have per serving. So I have 23 meatballs total. The whole batch makes eight servings. So it's pretty much three meatballs per serving, which is not bad. You could pair this with rice, potatoes. I'm going to just have the meatballs and a veggie, I think, just because this is a pretty hearty meal packed with protein, and it's a pretty sweet meal as well. So I think by adding some veggies, that would be a nice addition. I can mix the veggies in with the extra sauce. So again, this makes eight servings. It is four points on the blue and purple plan, six points per serving on the green plan, 272 calories. For dessert this week, I'm really excited for this. I'm making an orange dreamsicle cheesecake bar. That's WW friendly, low calorie, actually very low calorie. So let me show you what's in dessert. First, you're going to need a couple of oranges. You'll need the juice as well as zesting of the rind, eight ounces of low fat cream cheese, graham cracker or graham cracker crumbs, light Cool Whip, vanilla extract, light butter and brown sugar alternative. Again, I'm using sucre and gold and nutrition is also linked down below. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and juice both oranges. I'll put all of that liquid in a bowl and then I'm going to zest the two oranges as well. The first thing we're going to do is make the crust. So I have one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs, six tablespoons of light melted butter, and a nine by nine baking dish. So what we're going to do is add butter to the graham cracker mixture little by little. We want the graham cracker mixture to be sandy so that it forms a nice crust and will stick together. I've also preheated my oven to 350 degrees. So I have a nice sandy texture. I'm going to put them into my baking dish, press them down to form the crust. Our crust is going in our 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. In a bowl, we're going to add the entire eight ounce container of our room temperature light Cool Whip. To that, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one half of a cup of brown sugar. And then we're just going to stir that together until the vanilla and the brown sugar is mixed in with the whipped cream. And then we're just going to set this aside. And here is the whipped cream mixture. Now we're going to mix together the cream cheese and the orange juice, zest, and vanilla. Into another bowl, go ahead and add your eight ounces of cream cheese. Your hand mixer, go ahead and mix that together just until it's creamy. Now we're going to add in all of the juice from the oranges, as well as another teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then lastly, the zest from the oranges as well. And then we're gonna mix that together one more time until it's fully incorporated. So now I have the orange filling and I'm going to fold in the whipped cream mixture. I just pulled the crust out of the oven. Here is the cheesecake filling. I'm just going to let this sit in the refrigerator. We wanna make sure that our crust is completely cooled before we add in the cream cheese filling. Now we're going to add the filling to the crust, spread that out nice and even, and this is going to go in the freezer for three to four hours or until the filling is completely set. And here is the cheesecake, so I'm going to pop this into the freezer. Three hours later. Here are the cheesecake bars. They've been in the freezer for about three hours now. I'm going to cut these into 16 servings. I'll be back to show you a serving size, give you points and calories. You're not gonna believe it. So I cut the bars into 16 bars. It's not 100% set up, but pretty close. So I definitely would recommend the four hours in the freezer. But here's the size of the bar. So it is a good sized bar. And again, the pan makes 16 servings total. They are four smart points total and 129 calories for cheesecake. I'm super excited for these. These will definitely get eaten up. 
Troy's favorite dessert is cheesecake. So highly recommend this. You could swap out the orange for any other flavor and just use the base recipe. Again, four points per cheesecake bar, 129 calories. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW meal prep. Was I right that those three recipes are incredible? All three recipes are on my recipe website, which is down in the description box, along with the meal planner, links, discount codes to my favorite things, my nutrition coaching, where you can pick up macro and calorie calculation, and a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, and my Facebook group. So head on over, join us there. Definitely check out the description box down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget all of these recipes are on my recipe website. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not, I'd absolutely love to have you join this community. And thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Monday. Have a fantastic week. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.